Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgie and this is Flesh God Apocalypse, a band I love. <laughs> and um, so this is not going to be objective in any way. I'm already, I, I haven't heard this and I already like it. Um, so I got on board with Flesh God 10 years ago when, um, when Agony came out. 10 years, does that make sense? 2014 that would have been can you believe 2014 was 10 years ago uh no i'm gonna add another year or two on that let's go 2012 doesn't really matter does it you know when you start thinking now hmm, when was that so i'm gonna say 2012 but anyway so that would make it uh 12 years that i've been on board with flesh god apocalypse through the agony album which is amazing then labyrinth which i did not get along with for such a long time for some reason then king came out totally brilliant so i went back to labyrinth you know you like you think i must have missed something there and it, and it grew on me um and then out came uh Vel velino yep yeah, i'm going with that um and then in 2021 in case you don't know uh musical god Francesco uh, Paoli, I hope I'm saying his name right, from Flesh God Apocalypse, had a climbing accident and basically f f smashed himself to pieces. Um, and then he's had a really long recovery. Um, lots of broken bones and pins and wire and the whole thing, but he damaged his ulnar nerve in his left arm. And your ulnar nerve controls your little finger and I think like not all of this finger but enough to be a problem you know and uh and and his nerve was not recovering so they he had to have another surgery I hope this is of some interest to some people to take a nerve out of his leg and put it in his arm <laughs> like and that was about a year ago that that happened and um and this it, you know he's I I've either I've not kept up with it or he hasn't sort of broadcast how things are going and then ta-da here we are new song so things that at least went well enough so you know as you can imagine this is a bit of a problem if you play the guitar isn't it it's a bit of a problem if you play the drums it's a bit of a problem if you play a musical instrument so um obviously i hope for for, for just for his sake that it, it's all healed up really nicely and uh and he can get on with his life. But what he said is that this song is inspired by that accident and that period of his life afterwards where he had to go through all of the recovery and wouldn't, I guess, the fear that things are not going to get better. You know, am I, is this it for my left arm? Am I, am I not going to be able to play the guitar properly or whatever? So you can imagine that's kind of terrifying. That's terrifying for anyone, but if you if if that's what you do for a living, if that's who you are, that's even more scary. So he so there's a quote here um, that he says this is the first song we've released since his Dance with Death back in August 2021. Um, it's obvious that such a life changing event would have affected our music. It took a toll on me physically and mentally, and sharing my experience is also part of my healing process. So Pendulum, ta-da, for that is this song, is just the opening chapter of a bigger story which is yet to be told. So, like I say, I haven't seen this because I was just like, ah, flesh gone apocalypse, got a So I've done it as soon as I could, shall we say. Um, flesh gone apocalypse are touring in Australia uh, right now, end of March. So um, they're coming to Adelaide on the 27th. If if someone who watches this channel just happens to be in Adelaide, looking at you, Peter. Uh, anyway, yeah, so they're in Adelaide at the Lions, the Lion Arts Factory. Uh, but it says the music video inspired by visionary Italian director Martina McLean uh, turned his unfortunate accident into a monumental visual experience, an awe-inspiring blend of obscure symbolism, surreal architectures, and nightmarish, mar nightmarish mythological creatures. It perfectly portrays the struggle and the desperation of that day. A day of defeat, but also a day of my rebirth. 
it was sorry it was turning into a movie trailer um and i've just realized i'm going to pause this for a second because i've forgotten to cue the video up what a surprise and i've done it now can't get the staff I'm not going to pause it, don't worry. This isn't one of those channels where I pause it all the time, but just knowing what it's about and that just that opening bit where he goes like that, you go, or I do anyway, I go like, ooh, uh, poo. okay, I'll show up now. Take that, death. <clears throat> yes, it's quite a powerful piece, isn't it? Um, it's a bit more stop-start than I'm used to, I think. With Well, is it? Is it a bit more stop-start? Uh, I'm arguing myself now in my head. Because um, it's got their massive orchestral stabs. And that's how... It just feels like 
it, it's not such a straightforward, you know, like the violation just steamrolls over you. And Sugar, uh, which I love that song and I, I love the video that goes with it, um, it's sort of a bit more melodic, get a bit more sort of, and whereas this one's more of a big punch in the face, um, you know, video notwithstanding. Um, do I like it? Oh, of course I do. It's got, it's great, isn't it? I'm, and, and like I say, I am predisposed to like Flesh God Apocalypse. So I'm going to go, oh, yes, I like this. I can see where they're going. And I'm thinking of other things. And I'm really looking forward to them, you know, bringing out more stuff and all of that sort of thing. So if you're new to Flesh God Apocalypse, you might think, eh, I'm not. This, this is, I don't know, not melodic enough for you or whatever. I would say definitely go and check out some of their other stuff. Uh, the, the Flesh God Apocalypse is the band, I think, switched me more into, like, into, well, widened my musical horizons a bit, shall we say. So it's not like I stopped listening to everything I was listening to before, but it added another layer and went into the more sort of extreme metal. Uh, end of things and then after that came like an old Nathrak and uh, cattle decapitation um, so there's like a whole layer there where where the meek fear to tread um, and Flesh God Apocalypse I think was my gateway band into that with that song the, Vi the violation so I have nothing but time for them you know um, yeah it's they've got it's got their sound it's got their Punch. I keep saying using that word, but I think I've been influenced by the video. Um, it's got there. It's got there. Everything about it is Flesh God Apocalypse, isn't it? Which is what you want. So I'm, I'm very glad to see that, that, that they're up and back and doing the do on tour in Australia right now, as I said. Um, yeah, I'm basically, I'm happy. And you should be too. Unless this just isn't your thing in which... Fair enough. I can't see mention of an album yet, um, but I'm just frankly glad to have them back. So this is not an album cover. It's just a, it's just a single cover, just to make sure everyone is aware. Looking for the album Pendulum, and as far as I'm aware, it doesn't exist. Um, yeah. Enjoy. Let me know what you think. See you soon. Bye bye.